Hey everybody, welcome to Stock Abilities. Today I'm going to be covering a Jellyfin, a commission-free options trading platform. As they say, stop paying $7, plus 75 cents per contract for each trade. Currently, they're just available in the App Store. I'm going to be going in a little bit of a different direction for this video than you might expect. Uh, I'll be going over the platform itself here, but uh, I only have an Android phone, so I won't be able to go into too much detail until it's available for Android. But we're going to go into the background of the company itself. This is just their generic blog here. They cover a lot of different stuff. Not really anything too exciting to see here. You got the Jellyfin for Android. You enter your email, and then it brings you into a referral setup here. And you get an earlier access to more people you refer. Not much detail to go on for that. Going a little bit further, the $25 a month, and then they compare it to other companies, Options House, Scott Trade, Fidelity, Schwab, TD Ameritrade. They leave out Tastyworks, which is only a dollar a trade, but of course that's kind of disruptive to their kind of platform they're trying to market to, so that's not really surprising. You got a zero dollar initial deposit. Sign up for a brokerage account today and start trading with Jellyfin tomorrow. Very quick. Uh, you got a 30-day free trial, which is an interesting concept. Going a little further here, there isn't really many reviews about this. Uh, 3, 4, and uh, 28 overall. It's a fairly new app, so that's not really surprising as well. They did a lot of marketing, but I don't really see a lot of people going into this app for whatever the reason uh, as they say here it's simple and transparent easy and int intuitive advanced and powerful something to note here is that jellyfin provides access to real-time options data and fast execution at no additional cost through third-party trade llc went and looked that up uh, they are an official brokerage and they work with an uh, api that they share with different fintech companies uh, the biggest worry wasn't that. The biggest worry was the uh, founder in particular doesn't really have any FINRA association. I'm not sure if that's just because it's not really cost effective for as small as their business is at this point. But uh, not having a financial background and running an options trading platform seems a little awkward. That's just my personal opinion. And a little bit further here, you can check into their funding so far they got two convertible notes uh, 52,000 uh, and 69,000 dollars not much funding raise now that's still in its early stages uh, not familiar with convertible notes so I'll get into that in just a second but as you can see this is Robin Hood uh, raised a lot of money you guys are probably familiar with that by now uh, different series uh, C uh, funding but even in their first year they raised $3 million. I don't know if it's just the connections they had or what, but they did raise a lot of funding. Uh, both similar type of apps. I'm not sure why the Jellyfin app did not raise much funding. We're going to go a little bit further here. Uh, convertible note is a form of short-term debt that converts into equity, typically in conjunction with a future financing round. Uh, so there might be financing rounds upcoming. It might be too early, but... Some of those uh, financing rounds were months and months ago, so it's a little weird that that hasn't progressed much since then. Taking a little bit further, you can uh, just like search Jellyfin review. You won't find very much. There's different reviews, uh, mix of positive and negative. Uh, not really much going on with their Facebook page or anything, only 152 likes. Not that that really matters all too much nowadays, but still there isn't much of a presence yet for jellyfin it is fairly new though so i could have a lot to do with it their uh, most recent source was uh, april 5th of 2017 outside of of course uh reddit which isn't necessarily a reliable source and there isn't any like real major company mentioning it here or there you can dig through to a few other pages here uh, nothing really highlighting that it even exists, so it was a little bit of a weird thing. Uh, found this on the first page. It goes in a little bit of details here, of course. This is just someone doing some research. I don't know if there's really much to what he's saying. Uh, you can do your research yourself and confirm all of this. The, uh, it goes in a little bit of detail here about uh, the filings and everything, but... Uh, 
from FINRA and all that stuff. But there's no association in any level. And he found that a little bit suspicious in the pages and everything, and it's a vague detail in getting in contact with him. Uh, this guy claims he's a licensed private investigator. I can't really verify that. Uh, later, the elephant owner confirms some details here and goes into that and says he dealt with the debt that the guy above was mentioning, and there's just some drama here and there. Uh, he had a little bit of a background bill, an issue where one of his businesses didn't go so well, and then uh, it, it, it doesn't really associate with the financial industry, so it's a little weird he's jumping into it, but that, once again, doesn't really necessarily mean anything. It's just You can read over this. It's pretty much the first page of Google for when you search a Jellyfin review, so... If you search it, you're going to find this information just as easily. It's on, I think it was called Elite Trader. There's no different details about it, but uh, ultimately it's up to you to decide and how you want to interpret this. But I don't see much of a financial background in relation to this uh, given company. Uh, going a little bit further here, I'll, I'll show in the email that the, the guy sent me later. Um, it substantially reduce the barriers to entry into the financial markets using our APIs to launch your product in a fraction of the time and in a fraction of the cost of doing it yourself. <clears throat> now, essentially, uh, he does say this in the email that that's the reason why they didn't really go with the FINRA direction and why they go with the third party services as the official broker that handles all their stuff. They have one case study and it's Jellyfin Association. I couldn't really find any other clients that they might be working with so that's a little bit off-putting as well website's kind of a basic layout once again doesn't necessarily mean anything i'm just going over the facts um let's see here another thing that kind of worried me was the uh apis and everything and how public they are and that doesn't necessarily mean anything but then you can work with this particular API people as well. I'm sure the coding is very similar no matter who it is you're working with. Uh, the clientele will all have access to the same kind of coding so that can bring up security risks. Doesn't necessarily mean anything. You have to dig down more further into the coding and everything and that's beyond me. I don't know how secure this particular API is. It's just something to point out. Got the free sandbox so almost anyone can access it without paying anything to get an idea of the kind of structure of the coding which is also an issue you got the uh 1250 per month and you got the production costs one which i'm assuming is what jellyfin is using but there isn't any much details in that and i don't know the pricing that they agreed upon they didn't raise too much funding at this point and i don't know what money they're putting into it themselves personally i don't have that information um, this is the email that they went over with me, asked some questions. Uh, they're not a licensed FINRA member. I covered that earlier. And their brokerage service partner is Third Party LLC, which handles pretty much all the broker-related stuff. And they're, uh, you could read about their information and all of them there, and thanks to the broker thing that I was showing you guys earlier. Um, all trades in the Jellyfin platform is processed through Apex Clearing. That's pretty standard. That's nothing out of the ordinary. You got uh, Jellyfin as members are able to operate this way as long as we follow the components of number one above, aka they're saving money by working with a third party trade LLC and not costly overhead. The Jelly team, in team has been able to develop a simple and affordable options trading solution. What Jellyfin is doing is proving that the cost of trading options is actually really cheap. You don't need any backing from Wall Street or Silicon Valley to be sustainable. Uh, that's yet to be determined. They didn't raise much funding at all. I don't see uh, the monthly fees covering unless they get a lot of monthly subscriptions very, very quickly. Right now, they're not doing so hot in that. And their overhead is actually more than the actual money that they're bringing in outside of the initial funding of course they're just starting so once again that doesn't necessarily mean anything and then he links to the uh, reviews here in particular now this is uh obviously not my email for personal reasons but i just wanted to kind of put this up front here and make it easier for you guys to read through the video in particular 
That's about everything I wanted to cover with Jellyfin. It's up to you to make the decision in regards to the security and the safety of using this platform. I don't know if you've used the uh, Apple uh, App Store app or whatever in particular, and you have input on the actual system itself and how it works. I don't have an Apple phone to test this, so I can't really show you guys that. When they once again approve the Android version, I'll be doing a video on that. And I'll probably do a video with a little bit more background information in comparison to other brokers and things like that. So make sure to like, share, subscribe, and share your own input on Jellyfin. Overall, it sounds like a great concept, but it's a little too early to tell the legitimacy and the strength long term in this. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give it like a 6 or a 7 until I see more feedback. There isn't a lot to really go on. It's up to you guys to determine the safety and security and all that, but I'm just here bringing it up for you guys. If you guys aren't familiar and you want to check it out, there's a link down below in the description. Thanks for listening in and have a nice day.